Hello, hello everybody, welcome, thank you for joining me again. Um, I hope you can hear me alright, I got a new headset. Uh, if you saw my Twitter post, my old headset is broken. My Twitter is EthoLP, because some of you are probably wondering now what it is. Uh, yeah, I broke my old headset, I had my arm on the desk, and I, I went to pull it back, and I my elbow bumped my headset and it fell to the floor. Which is something I've done many times before, but I guess just the way it fell, it broke the frame in half, like the two thing holding the speakers apart. Broke in half. Woohoo! Whoa! So, yeah, it was kind of beyond repair. I, I was thinking about maybe trying to fix it, but, uh, in fact, it's still usable. Like, the, the mic and the speakers are fine, they just aren't being held together properly. And I was going to try fix it. Whoa! Oh, yeah. But, um, I put it on my head, and then when I took it off, I saw it was, like, leaking glue out of the seams, too, for some reason. And I was like, I'm not putting that on my head anymore. So, yeah, went and got a new mic, got the exact same one, the Logitech uh, G330. So, we're back in business here. Uh, it's kind of sad that it broke. I had that since the beginning. I haven't switched mics once yet. Really like this headset. And uh, hopefully it's okay now. It's doesn't quite fit my head the same as the old one. I think I had it bent a certain way. Ooh. Oh, where am I? Did I miss? No, that's right. I marked this before I started. Um, all right, now we're going to go back up. Yeah, I had that one since the beginning. It's kind of sad that it's gone. I remember when I was picking it out, it was like, I don't really want to spend this much money on it because I probably won't use it hardly. I was only planning to do maybe a few epis like LP episodes and then stop uh, unless people reacted well to it. And the rest is history. I use my headset pretty much every day for a year and a half or so. So I got quite a bit of use out of it. And very few, pe very few people complained about the sound quality, so that's why I got the same one again. Um, I know in the past I didn't really have it positioned correctly, so in my older videos you can really hear like saliva in my mouth and the odd time there would be sound pops and that, but uh, over time I figured out how to position it for my face properly. But this new one, it tends to want to rub against my face, the, the microphone parts, so hopefully that gets bent properly and it's not too loud today. I don't know how it's going to sound. I haven't tested it yet. But the new one is actually a lot more comfortable and the sound quality is a lot better. So I, I'm pretty sure the old one was getting worn out because I can notice quite a bit big difference between the two. But anyway, on to the episode. What am I doing here? Well, I was going through the comments of last episode. Oh. One second. Going through the comments, and I had quite a few good suggestions. Hello. Of things I could do. Oh, dang it. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, this is a stronghold. Okay, I've been here. Not a big deal. And for the light. The lighting here, I really like the idea of using glass here and having a skylight, like digging up to the surface instead of having these lamps. That way it'll light up the void fog below. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I also had suggestions to switch this glass out with uh, ice, which I think would look really cool. We'll do that in the new patch when we can pick it up with silk touch. And also to add a little bit more to it so it's not solid solid glass or solid ice add a little bit of a grid to it whoa okay uh, so that's the plan with that 
but we're not just going to do uh, glass sunlights here. I kind of came up with another idea that works with it, and I will get to that in a bit. I'm going to haul this one out yet, and we'll get started. Okay, let's get started here. Uh, so the advantage of using sunlight is sunlight is a light level of 15, and that gets all the way to the glass here. Look how bright this room is right now. It's it's really, really bright. Uh, but if you were to have like a lamp or a piece of glowstone there, it's it's light level 15 as well, but only at that block. And then the light dwindles in a diamond shape from that. So you go down one block, it's 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, glass. By the time it gets to the glass, it's light level, light level 9. But if it's sunlight, glass is light level 15, you know, in a column all the way down. Uh, the disadvantage of having a glass sunlight is at night, the light level drops down to level 4. So a lamp would almost be better at night and a sunlight during the day. And I think the sunlight also blocks out void fog, or it used to anyway, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. I'm pretty sure it's gone. So that's another advantage of having a sunlight. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to get the best of both worlds. I had this idea to do a block switcher um, right above one of these. So let's... Uh, I'll hollow this out and then we'll get started. I know I said that already, but I mean like take out the roof. The ceiling. Whatever. Let's go. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to build a block switcher here. And I believe this is C and B Minecraft's block switcher, if I remember right. Could be wrong, but I believe that's right. Um, goes like that. Then you have redstone there. Redstone there. Torch and a torch there and a torch there okay and then you get a sticky piston it has to go the same level as that redstone torch if i remember right Let's see if we can get this mm. yeah it's not letting me place it Where did that go? Oh. Total miss. Let's try one more time. There we go. Now I'm stuck in it. Good job. If I try to break something, I will break the piston, and we don't want that. Okay. So, we got a one going down like that. Then we have um, one here. And we got to place our other block. Uh, I think I have to use glowstone for it, but we'll use a lamp for it right now. And then another piston here, like that. We will put glass here for the skylight. I keep saying sunlight when I should be saying skylight. Okay. And then that is all there is to it. So we will test this out. An idea is... Uh, pistons are a transparent block, so the light will actually pass through it and also through the glass, so that's going to work out really well. Uh, what am I doing? I want a button. So, just to demonstrate. Actually, I don't know if we saw that. So it was glass, now it's the lamp. Let's make ladders up, because I'm going to have to keep going up and down over and over again. This piston is not necessary. Yeah. Press it again, it will switch to glass again. So that's that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a sunlight. Oh, I did it again. Skylight. We're going to have a skylight during the day. And at night, we will have it automatically switch to a piece of glowstone, probably, uh, using a day-night sensor. But we'll do that later. That's just the plan. So... Um, with this setup, I th think 
like I can't run wire on these uh, half slabs or stairs so what I'll actually do is change this a little bit uh, we'll get rid of that and we don't really need the button actually so we'll do it like this we'll have the torch over on the side like this yeah and then we can have wire running to it like like that at that level we can put it on a block that way so uh, we'll probably have a central wire in the middle here which will uh, branch out to this one to one over here and same with over there and there so this is all built and wired now uh, this is the main wire here in the middle it connects to all four of the, the switchers and when we build the day night sensor that's what we'll hook up to this wire but in the meantime we just have a button which we can switch between the two with and for the default we'll just leave it on glass until we get the day night sensor hooked up because I think oh fake press yeah and I got a dirt block there until we get glowstone over here too I switched I switched out the lamps because I think they were causing more lag so yeah that is done for right now anyway and I don't think that's going to interfere with the ceiling I think uh, I think that'll work out okay beautiful world just beautiful I think this is the tallest mountain in my world that I've found so far we're at 117 at the peak and it's time for some intense fishing oh it's so intense so intense here we go got it Hey, are you looking for interesting and entertaining Minecraft videos? Well, look no further than Etho's Lab. Etho keeps his channel chock full of awesome Minecraft Let's Plays, as well as plenty of helpful tutorials. Check him out today at youtube.com forward slash Etho's Lab. Yes. So intense. Oh, I didn't know you could do that with boats. <laughs> That's awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. How come I've never seen this before? That, that was awesome. Okay, okay, enough goofing around. It's time to get serious. Let's get back into building mode here. Uh, not building mode, planning mode. I got blueprints figured out in my head, finally for the da, 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 mob system it's gonna happen believe it or not finally so I asked what I should build it out of a few episodes ago and snow was suggested by many love the idea so it's gonna be out of snow I'll probably build the whole thing out of snow just to begin with and if I wanna add more character to it later we can go back and revise it but I got one of these guys here. Give us snow. And, uh, sorry, distracted. Um, so we got lots of snow. I'll tell you what we're going to do. This is where it's going, right above the silverfish farm. Because the silverfish farm is going to be the basement. Um, and the storage room slash mob system ground level is going to be about here uh, maybe a little bit higher for the mob system right at this block here 
that is where the silverfish spawner is. That is the, the epicenter of everything I plan to build here. A lot of people are wondering why I haven't built a mob system yet, and I don't really have a good answer for you, but uh, one of the reasons was because when I build it, I want it to be built right. I want everything in the right place. I don't want to have any design regrets after it's done like I've had in the past. So I just want to make sure I get it right, positioned right, built right, all right, and then it will be cool and I'll be happy with it. So this is the center right here. The plan is to build four EMP units. You guys remember the EMP units uh, from the ice base around episode 70, 80 ish. That project never really got finished because of the patch and the new world here. But we're going to do, we're just going to have four EMP units. It's going to be pretty simple. Those are five by four, five wide by four deep. Uh, a lot of the deepness is from the wiring, but uh, if this is the center, and we're going to do four of them. This is how I plan on laying it out. This is what I've been trying to figure out. Uh, we're going to have a five by five empty area around the center, like that. And then each of the EMP units will go, like one will go here, so... Do I need 5x5? Five five? Wait, wait, wait. I feel like I figured out something wrong here. Goes... Yeah, we'll have... Uh, I got something wrong. How's this going to lay out? One will go there, and then... Yeah, it's got to be spaced further. Okay. So it has to go from from there. You're imagining it, right? I know it's it's pretty tough from that. So one will go there. Uh, so the front of the EMP unit will be right here. And it's five wide. That's the front. Then one, two, three blocks for the wiring. We will reserve. Another one will go here. So I'm just laying out a f five by four area for it. So, and its face plate will be here. And then again, so all the way around, we're going to have four. I'm out of blocks. Another one will go there. And the main one will be over here, I think. I think I want it on this side. It doesn't really matter much which side I choose. And its face will be here again. And these will be for the wiring. This area here. So... This middle part will probably just be empty space, or I might keep it uh, open in case I have to add something behind the EMP units. I don't know. Now this main one over here is going to be for uh, creepers, zombies, and skeletons. So all three of them. And then one of these will be just for creepers, one will be just for skeletons, one will be just for zombies. Okay. Now, for the main one, we're going to build the mob system directly above it. Okay, because we want to be able to kill them as quick as possible. It's probably the one I'll use the most, so I want as short as travel time as possible for the mobs so that we can spawn more and get more items quicker. Alright, so the mob system will probably be right over here. It doesn't need to be centered around the, the silverfish spawner. We just want the room centered around that. So if we're walking around like over here or whatever, silverfish will be spawning as we're doing stuff. And then the storage room will probably be, like all the chests will probably be all around this main centerpiece. But we're going to elevate this a little bit off the floor to make it stand out and have the storage room uh, level a few blocks lower than the EMP level probably. Is what I'm thinking. Okay. Lots of talking today. Uh, as far as where the building starts, it's going to start at Y61 is what I figured out on paper here. 
So that gives, wait, let me get my calculator. 61 minus, what are we at, 30? Well, our feet are at 34, okay. That's 27 blocks. So we need 24 blocks for them to fall and die. So that's why we, we, we're going to have that buffer there. And each layer of the mob system is 5 blocks tall. So it'll start at 61, will be the floor of it. It'll go all the way up to uh, 127. We don't want to go above that because then uh, the game has to check more space to spawn mobs. So it'll lower rates which is uh, the reason why my Enderman farm still works good even after the Anvil format is because they only check extra area if you build in the extra area like above the the old map height right because when it, I figured when the new format came out my Enderman farm was going to be twice as slow because it would have to check twice the space but it only does that if you build above that. So we're going to avoid doing that if possible. Um, at least I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. Or still works. Okay, so. Uh, up we go again. That lag. Uh, I was talking to Doc the other day. He says that's caused from the game having to play sound. Or... Uh, or like in the silverfish jumping in the water, that's what's causing that lag, and that I believe that makes sense. So, because it, I get that whenever I go like 16 blocks away from the silverfish, it doesn't matter which direction it can be up or down. Well, not down, but left, right, you know. Okay, so right here, this level, this is a start. I gotta clear out space for it. And I'll probably try to build a few layers today, but I'm going to do that off camera and we'll see how it looks made of snow. So we've broken the land here. We're getting started. I got to clear about three blocks down for the first layer and then beyond that it should get uh, a lot simpler because we're we got the space all cleared up above. But uh, this mountain is in the way so I'll have to chisel a lot of it away probably which will slow things down a bit. And my doggy decided to teleport here and watch me for some unknown reason. But that's okay. I've marked the center with the snow block here. So, like I gotta go, I think, uh, what is it? It's probably close to about 10 blocks this way still. And all the way up to 128. So I'll have to remove a fair bit of the mountain. Now, uh, I was looking at my old EMP video tutorial to see how I did the wiring and it looks like I can actually move the, them in a little bit, one more block in, so it's going to be uh, not quite as big of a circle around. So this is, uh, this is the four points, the 5x5, five five, and instead of having them all the way out here, they're going to be over here. Now. And I think it'll work out. Oh boy. Well, it started raining. Uh, I ran out of snow blocks. So I guess this is probably as far as we'll get with this today. Because i got to get some more. Uh, I had like over 10 stacks, I'm sure, when I started. But I guess that's just as far as 10 stacks gets you. So about one layer's worth. Gonna have to make a lot of them. Which is good. I'm glad I picked snow blocks because they're really easy to make. You can make them real quick. Uh, and I like the way it looks. It's, it's pretty cool. I think it'll look good when it's all done. And it's really easy to mix colored wool with snow blocks too. So if I want to decorate it afterwards, I can. I was also thinking of maybe using ice to decorate it afterwards when, uh, when we can pick it up again. That might be cool. But... Yeah, a little more info about the mob system. It's going to be 12 layers, is what I figured it will be. Uh, each layer is 100 spawning spaces. I found out a way to add four more, so it's an even 100. So 1,200 total when it's all done. 
and it should work really really well but I am going to go to bed now thank you for watching everybody and until next time